Yeah. All right, fellas, welcome to Friday Night Friday. It's been a couple weeks since I've had one, so here I am back with Blood Rain Betrayal. <laughs> I don't, I don't know anything about this game. It just was, it was on the Steam list, and I thought, hey, this is kind of scary-ish. So that's what we're playing. And I just saw that it's made by Way Forward. They make a lot of fucking sweet games, so I'll try this shit out. The Brimstone Society has intercepted news of a vampire gathering, but mere soldiers are not enough text for me to read. You disappeared too quickly. This has some cool ass animation. That looks cool. Whoa! Wow, they ran off like little scared bitches. What the hell? Look at how boss I. Whoa, shit! Fuck yeah! So I played, uh, oh, uh, dash through attacks? That is really weird looking. Oh shit. I played, like, Blood Rain 2 on the PlayStation 2 a thousand fucking years ago. And I remember thinking that it was so stupid. Oh, I can suck blood? Uh, has it gotta be somebody who's dead or what? Stunning enemy and then. Oh, nice! That was cool. What is this? This is like bullets? How come I can't get them? Is that what I did? I press triangle? I don't get it. Okay. The, the controls are uh, are pretty fluid, but for some reason I like stopping my tracks when I do something. I don't know. That's just that's just how the game is, though. Can I drink this fucking blood? I guess I don't need to. But I thought that the Blood Rain game that I played, I think it was Blood Rain 2. I'm not totally sure. But, oh shit! I just remember it being like ungodly repetitive. Look alive, here she comes. So these guys are on our side or on my. What the fuck is that? Oh, gross. But it was just like super repetitive. Like every few minutes, you would just like do the same shit. The castle remembers takes take a bloodsucker to catch one. Yeah, I guess there's a whole nest of them, huh? Whatever, shitheads. I'm getting out of here. I think Way Forward made the Aliens game on. Uh, the DS. That was a really good game. While skidding, press A. Change direction quickly to skid. Say what now? Oh, okay. Okay, so that's like a Mario flip. Goodbye! Okay. Kapoo! It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. What do these things do? That just gives me health? Oh, shit! What the fuck is this? What the hell is doing this to me? To this fucking thing? What the hell was that? I don't know. But whenever this game come out, I remember thinking, eh, whatever, don't care. Hang on a second, let me see if I can change some some settings here. I'm getting a little bit of screen tearing. Maybe if I turn V-Sync on, that'll help. I never really understand what the fuck V-Sync is. I, I don't know what, what it stands for. Let's just see if that helps. And it did. Fantastic. Regain health by sucking. So what the fuck is this, like, this steamy bullshit? Like, I don't understand. Is it fucking garlic or some shit? Am I, like, running out of blood or something? I gotta I gotta drink blood to stay alive? Is, am I, is my thirst high? Okay, I, I grabbed this guy, like, six times. Get him and suck his blood. Yes, thank you. What the fuck? I don't, I don't understand why that, that just randomly happens. Is, it just, is this a special vampire that I'm attacking? Are these vampires? Okay, I don't like this. It makes my controller vibrate and I get hurt. I'm not, I just, I can't quite figure it out. Just kill shit. See, look at this fucking steam cloud. And then it's gone. I don't, is it, I don't get it. What the hell? See, now it's gone. Okay, I don't fucking get it. Is it just because I'm in the fog or some shit? Oh, god damn it. Look at that gross shit. <clears throat> what did that say? Press what? Press RT to shoot. Oh, okay, that's where the bullets come from. An enormous hidden castle. An enormous underground hidden castle. Uh, cool. This is ridiculous. Man, shut your fucking mouth. What else did Way Forward make? They made, like, uh, Shantae, I think? I think they did. I'm not sure. Well, I can already kind of, like, wall jump there. Ooh, fuck! So grod. I mean, like, as in grody. That moon is enormous! See, and then it's like, that motherfucker's all steaming and shit. 
Oh, oh, there's like light. That's pretty hard to see, is it not? Am I am I just like fucking stupid? See that light shining down? Okay. I mean, I get, what the hell is this? Okay, nothing is what it is. So there's light. That that was why I just I guess I couldn't see it. It seems like it's hard to see. I don't know. Come at me, fucking gross shit. Weird naked chicken thing. Featherless chicken bullshit. God damn it! See, like, how can I tell? How can I possibly tell, like, that quickly? Oh, shit! God damn. Fuck. Okay, well, I had high hopes for this game, but that is really fucking with my shit. For, like, no apparent reason. At all. So, okay, I don't even know if I need to get up here, but I just want to. Yeah, there's nothing up there, obviously. These lights make me mad. So I guess it just it's a way for you to like stay on the move, I guess. I don't, I don't it gives me a score. I don't give a fuck about a score game. I was really hoping that this would end up being sort of Metroidvania-ish, which I'm now forever going to be calling Zeldavania because that's what Koji Igarashi wanted, and he's the fucking man, so. See what's wrong with this guy? Is he like poisoned or some shit? Did I poison him? And if so, how? Oh, fuck. Oh, you fuck. Okay. What the hell? See, I don't know what's going on. See, I, I, I cannot tell for shit what's going on. Is this hurting me? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, whatever. And it looks like there's a fucking power-up or some shit up there. I'm not even going to fucking worry about it, because that that is the biggest problem I have with this game, is the sunlight bullshit. Oh, cool, an explosive. Oh, it didn't hurt me. So that's okay, I guess. See, that. I just don't like this. Why? I mean, it's pretty fucking bright out outside. I guess it's supposed to be night, but seriously, like, that's a fucking something we gotta worry about? I don't know. I mean, I guess, oh, vampire, I'm a vampire, I gotta, I gotta not sunlight, blah, blah. But I mean, it's just light. I mean, you tell me a vampire can't fucking turn on a lamp without killing themselves? Is that the way that works? Pretty sure Dracula can light a lamp and be okay. I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It just depends on which story you're looking at. When I think of Dracula, I immediately think of Castlevania. <laughs> and if you don't know anything about Castlevania shit going on right now, which uh, you should know that Koji Igarashi, the man who I just spoke about, he uh, he's making a game that he has on Kickstarter that is going. It's called. What is it called? Bloodstained? I think that's what it's called. And it looks super duper mega fucking awesome. And it's probably going to be the coolest shit ever. It uh, was on Kickstarter for like four hours and it was immediately funded. I'm doing a kickstop. It was like funded. They had like wanted a budget of like $450,000 and they got it in four hours. And now it's like over two million. And they added all kinds of stretch goals. I think it's going to come out for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, I believe. Shit, fuck, ass. God. I do not like that nonsense. Just dash past it. Fuck. This game would be super awesome if that wasn't a thing. Why is that a thing? I just, I can't, I can't understand like where they just they thought that was a good idea it would make sense if it was something like uh what's that that game like the mark of the ninja or whatever where there's like lights that you know like you get caught you know by the stoplight you know that, that that's like the whole fucking point of the game but not this this just damages you it just fucking cripples you for no real good reason see look and, and it's so hard to even really tell i mean i see that that's that's yellow okay i mean i see that but it's like when you're flowing in a game like this, like a 2D game, you don't give two shits about something that's like so hardly even there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nitpicky. But this could have been way fucking cooler. And I mean, this is the first, like, first level or what have you. I'm not gonna judge it too harshly on that. The combat is fun, but it's just like, it seems like it comes to a halt when you have to fight like a wave of enemies and there's fucking light there. It, it completely completely ruined. 
you know, maybe there won't be that that much light to worry about. But see, like this shit, I, it just, I get up and I get knocked down. And then I'm gonna get back up again. Because these motherfuckers, they're never gonna keep me down. Right? Right? Oh shit, I didn't mean to shoot. You press the right trigger to shoot. So yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. She has like blades attached to her arms. I think that was a thing in the original Blood Rain. I don't know if I'm playing as the same character. There was not much uh, cutscene. It was just like, hey, we're vampires. Fucking giant spaceship looking fucking coffin. Oh, God damn it. A fucking like coffin spaceship just like slams down on the ground. He starts fucking shit up. Okay, the wall controls are not so smooth. This makes me uh, really want to play a Strider, like the new Strider. I recently bought it on Steam. How come I can't jump? Okay, this... It's not as good as Mega Man X wall jumping. See, like, how the fuck are you supposed to get that? You know, maybe this is like a uh, Metroid slash Zeldavania sort of thing where, you know, I'll get a power up later and I can come double jump or some shit. I hope that's the way it is, because that's good game design, but I don't know. Who needs to say, oh look, there's barrels, I guarantee there's a wave of enemies. And look, it's the same palette swap motherfuckers. Ooh. Look at this. Come on. So, okay. Fuck. There's only really there's one attack button, but every time you press it, like, she'll do something different. And I can press, like, up, and I'll do, like, a fucking uppercut. And I can just keep slamming on X, or square, X, whatever, I don't know, this whatever. This is a PS4 controller, so yeah, it is square. Whatever. Whoa, hey. How, how come I can't get these bullets? Like, am I maxed out on bullets if I shoot? I shoot one while I pick it up. Okay, I guess I you just keep... Oh, see, look, there's my fucking... And then now I'm back to my coffin-ass spaceship. Wow, okay, that's pretty fucking cool. Just like, see you later, bitches. I was going underground. Okay. Chapter one complete. <laughs> oh, I'm a cadaver. That's uh, really good, I guess. I'm so good that I'm a dead person. <laughs> Okay, I'm underground and I can still see the moon and trees and shit. I'm okay with it. I will take it. This kind of does remind me of. Oh shit. It reminds me of a classic Vania, but like all of the uh, fucking. Like. I don't know. It doesn't. No game has ever managed to flow like a Castlevania game except for Castlevania, in my eyes. Like, I mean, I don't. I'm sure. They probably had a Castlevania sort of thing in mind with this game. I mean, fucking look at it. We're fighting monsters in the woods, vampires and shit. But, like, uh, no game has ever gotten that flow. It's like, this game has the potential for the flow, but it's instead they decided to make you fight enemies in waves. How silly is that? I mean, it's okay. I'm okay with it. But fighting enemies in waves in a 2D game... You know, that's the reason why the Lords of Shadow game on... Uh, well, okay, Lords of Shadow in general fucking sucks dick balls. The Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate? That came out on the 3DS, and I think it's on fucking everything now. You can, They, like, made an HD version. Okay, this is just fucking annoying. These are more annoying than goddamn Medusa heads, because as you get closer to them, they, just, they like, get farther. And, of course, there's a fucking nest. Suck their... Suck their fucking blood? Well, how, how am I supposed to get close to that shit? I'm gonna fucking die. G come here. Come here. There you go. Okay. Guess you gotta hold it down. Okay, that's pretty good. At least you can use these guys to heal up. And the hitbox is like fucking huge, so I don't even have to try too hard. Fuck it. But like, what the, he what the hell am I trying to say? I, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Lords of Shadow, Mirror of Fate, which I was super stoked for because Lords of Shadow 1, which everybody knows I fucking hated, still hate, it's one of the worst fucking games in the Castlevania series, it's fucking monotonous, shitty, it's a fucking ripoff of a bunch of good games, but anyway, okay, how the fuck, okay, it said, the there we go, that's not as consistent as it should be, Whoop. but like, they made a... Okay, but it wasn't supposed to be a Castlevania game. Like, it, it just wasn't. So, 
I, I had like more high hopes for Mirror of Fate because it was developed as a Castlevania game as opposed to whatever the fucking stupid shit. Uh, what, see, why can't I slide down the fucking walls? It's like all of a sudden the rules change because here I am. And I'm trying to do that stupid jump, but it's so inconsistent. I don't, I'm pissed off. Okay, you run, you change directions quickly is what it said. And then jump. Like, it shows me doing the animation, but I'm not doing the jump. See, if you're... Come the fuck on. Anyway, the point is, Mirror of Fate was a 2D sort of... It was a Metroidvania. It's, it's what fucking... Okay, I managed to hack my way up there. Whatever. It was, a, it was a Metroidvania. And it got some of the exploration down pretty good, but it, it you fought enemies in waves. That doesn't work for Castlevania. That destroys the flow. I just I can't I can't get my head around it. I can't get my head around Lords of Shadow at all. It was unfucking needed, completely pointless, and no reason to do any type of reboot or rework whatsoever. It, I just I fucking hate it. And I mean, even if it, it, I'm not like opposed to a reboot of Castlevania, but it, if you're gonna do it, make it not so shit. It just ripped off God of War and fucking... And like... Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they ripped off God of War as in a 3D action game. Because they didn't. That's not the point. They were 3D action games before God of War. But it uses quick time events. Like, you can't fucking hardly kill any enemy without there being some kind of stupid quick time event. It'll like... The circles will like fly into the screen and you gotta press the button like in the middle of the screen. And that's how you fucking... That's how you kill everything in the game. Including bosses. Like, every boss ends in a quick time event. And that's just fucking... That's just cheap. It's just... It's just a sorry excuse for, like... It's re replacing... Replacing gameplay, if I can fucking spit it out. I don't know. It's like they weren't clever enough to make good gameplay, so they just fucking cheaped it up with QTEs. And that's a fucking joke. Even so, like, this game isn't quite anything like Mirror of Fate. This is, it's clearly, it works in a level format, which is okay, but the more I play it, the more I just realize it's not so great, and I haven't missed out on much. I mean, the animation is fucking great. Like, I really love the sprite animations, I like the setting, I like, I, I like all of the artwork, but... I just, I'm not, I'm not too, uh, convinced that it's a good game. <laughs> Sorry, if you're, like, a fan of this game, but just, uh, this is okay. You missed the first two levels. Again, I'm not going to, like, this isn't a fucking review. I'm not going to say that my word is law in this game because I don't know. I have not played it enough. And chances are I probably won't play it enough because it doesn't impress. It's it's overall visually impressive, but like when it comes down to it, gameplay is the meat and potatoes, and that's what matters. So I gotta stomp on enemies' heads, and clearly it's down and square. It doesn't tell me that. It's okay though. I can figure it out. But see, it's like you you just so totally know what's gonna happen. It's like oh, you go a few steps forward, and then you fight some enemies. It's just I know I I can tell what most of this game is going to be right off the bat, but god, look at the fucking sprite animation. I don't know if you know this, I'm sure I've talked about it before, but I fucking love 2D sprite animation. It is some of my favorite type of video game graphics. I just, I just love it. Look at this. It looks so beautiful. I mean, it's visually appealing. One of the most visually appealing games I have played in a long time. I just really, I'm really digging it. It reminds me of Blaze Blue. I don't know if you ever played that, a fighting game. Shit, I needed to bounce off of those. It's a fighting game, PS4, or I think the PS3, and it was on fucking everything. You can get a Blaze Blue game on like 3DS, Vita, PS3, might have been on PS2. Nah, it couldn't have been that old. I don't know, I could be wrong. Is there something real, like, worth going if there all that light over there? Probably not. Actually, there probably is. I don't know. Yeah, I probably should go there. Can I? Was there fall damage? Nope, there's not. Cool. I don't like games that have fall damage. It, uh... Oh, shit. 
I think, like, I, I keep talking about Koji Igarashi. Yeah, I want to just fucking suck his dick, clearly. But, like, he uh, was talking about how he didn't put, like, fall. He didn't put fall damage or, like, pitfalls in Symphony of the Night because he thought that it was silly if you would just, like, fail to nothing in a game. Like, like if that if I'm if I die by falling down there, he just said he thought that was stupid. And I can agree. It, it's like why not put something there to kill you, like spikes or you know if your character can't swim, put water or fucking lava or just put something. You know, just put an empty ass pit because I mean where are you gonna fall? Is it like that guy he just died via empty pit. But like it just it just makes it seem cooler from a you know like a game player's perspective to like see a character fall into spikes. You know, it doesn't even have to be like a visual thing. You don't have to show me fucking being impaled Mortal Kombat style, but it's just cooler than a fucking empty pit. So, like, that was cool. See, like, this combat is, like, so nice. Like, I don't even know what Triangle does. I haven't even started hitting Triangle. It hasn't said anything via tutorial, so I haven't pressed it yet. Maybe that's just me not trying shit, but I'll try it in some combat. I want to fight a boss. That's what I want. The entrance. Prepare to breach the- What the hell is that sound? I can't hear shit. Oh, fuck. You ask and shall receive, can man. Oh, boy. This is like, uh... Oh, boy. I'm gonna die. Am I gonna die? Or am I just gonna get... Okay. Uh, what was that? The Order of Ecclesia. <laughs> Order of Ecclesia. The Castlevania on DS, it had a boss like this, it was like a, it, was, it looked like this, but it was a crab. I mean, this looks like a crab, but this is like a mechanical crab, it was like a crab. It, See, and this is another thing, it's like, this, this cheapens a boss fight if you, if they give you things to heal mid-boss. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it, but that's just silly. Like, I mean, I'm, I don't have too much to worry about because there's fucking mosquitoes. Like, I don't, even, I don't even really have to worry too much about, like, okay, say I busted that, about really taking damage because I can just, I say, look, there's 50 fucking mosquitoes. Which, I mean, I don't know, I guess also they are part of the hazard of this boss fight. You know, look at it that way, however you wish to look at it. Okay. Oh, wait, that saw blades. This is, this is cool, though. I mean, this looks fucking cool. And it feels pretty cool. I just don't like that it's giving me health. You know, if there was, like, something that I could press to heal, that would be okay. That would be part of a game mechanic, but this is just like, oh, are you having trouble? Here's 57 mosquitoes, and now you can heal. Whatever. We've been playing a lot of Dark Souls here recently, so... And those games are, like, so fucking fantastically made that I guess I, I just fucking... I'm super harsh on everything else. Oh, oh! K.O. Flawless victory. Alright, see you later, bitch. Okay, that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna play any more of this, uh, right now. I mean, I probably won't play any more of it. Uh, see, look, F. Worm Chow. Like, I feel like I did pretty good, but whatever. Anyway, uh, this was just kind of a one-shot, one-off, whatever you want to fucking call it, for Fright Night Friday. I enjoyed it for the most part, but I think it could definitely use some work. You know, maybe some of the later levels are better. This is only the first two chapters. The boss fight was the most impressive thing of all. So, I guess there could be cooler boss fights in store. But, uh, I'll probably just play that on my own time. I won't put it on the YouTubes or nothing. I'm going to continue playing Mega Man Legends. I know it's, uh, not very popular. Not many people care too much about it. They didn't give a shit about Mega Man X when we played it either. But we'll have Mega Man Legends. I'm gonna have... Some more Mario 3D World up with Kyle, and uh, just just stick around. There's more shit to come. I guarantee you that. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe for me, because I love you, and hopefully you love me. And I will talk to you tomorrow in whatever fucking video I upload. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.